And the storm has already had a huge impact mm -hmm. on holiday travel out there. More than 2,000 flights in the U.S. have already been canceled today. And O'Hare tops that list with more than 200, 250 flights out of there having been canceled so far. We want to check in with travel expert Peter Greenberg to talk a little bit about how this messy travel situation may continue to stick with us for the next day or two. Peter, first of all, uh, how are you hearing? What are you hearing about uh, how it's going outside of Chicago? Well, remember, anytime you have a weather incident like this and it's, it's spreading from the north to the south and then across the Midwest, you're going to start to see airline hubs start to slow down and sometimes shut down. And anytime you start shutting down an airline operation, anytime you do it for like 12 hours, it takes them about 36 hours mm. to get back on track, to get flight crews back in sequence, planes back in schedule. Now, as you know, you have airlines offering what they call their storm waivers allowing people to rebook their flights with no financial penalty at a later date. But here's the key, the words at a later date, that may mean after Christmas, which may ruin your plans. All right, so let's say you're one of these people at O'Hare and your flight has been canceled or maybe it's been delayed. What rights do you have as a traveler? What can you do? Do you get a full refund? Do you wait it out? I guess, what are your options? Well, under the U.S. Department of Transportation rules, if an airline cancels your flight for any reason whatsoever, you are entitled to that refund back to your original form of purchase, even if you bought a so-called non-refundable ticket. The real problem here, though, is you didn't really want to refund. You wanted to get to where you want to go, right. and chances are you're not going to get there in time to uh, play Santa. So in this case, you just might want to take the refund. You hinted at it earlier, but the issue is even if we have clear skies tomorrow morning, <clears throat> albeit very cold temperatures, it may take the airlines a couple of days to catch up, which takes us right into Christmas. Exactly. Remember, it's not about the weather where you are, even if it's snowing in Chicago right now. It's about the weather where the plane is coming from to get you. So if you don't have a good weather app, and there are a lot of good weather apps out there, or flight radar apps, you have no idea where the plane assigned to your flight is coming from. It may show on time on the departure board, but that actual aircraft may never show up. All right, so you know for the last month, few months or so, we've been talking about staffing issues across every industry, the airline industry being one of them. How uh, well prepared are they to handle what's coming their way right now where they have a ton of cancellations and flight delays and they have to rebook people? Well, the good news is that the airlines are flying about 10% fewer flights this holiday season than last year, and they've been on a hiring spree they are starting to ramp up on their staffing levels. So by doing that and by spreading out their schedule a little bit more, they're better prepared. But remember, even on a clear day, that's okay. But weather is the intangible. And right now it is not the intangible, it's in our face. Peter, I know a lot of travelers uh, when they're having problems turn to you uh, for advice. And I just wonder, you know, while so much of the airline interaction has become automated, you can rebook on an app, mm -hmm. et cetera, sometimes you do have to call in. I had to for a flight credit or something that wouldn't go in online. You can't reach anyone. It took an hour and a half to get a live body at a major airline. Uh, is that something that you think is just in the moment because of staffing or is this the new business model? It's been that way for a while. But here's my little secret. Don't call the 800 number in this country. Call the 800 number where the airline has offices overseas. Hmm. You'll get some. Huh. All righty, Peter Greenberg wow. coming through with the tips. That's Great why we trip. have you on. Merry okay. Christmas to you. Thank you for being with us. Right back at you guys. Okay. And you can get more tips and advice from Peter on his website, petergreenberg.com.